Hey everyone, Skull Candy Mackenzie here. Well, my name is Skull Candy Mac, but it's short for Mackenzie. And today I'm going to teach you how to animate with Paint and Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, now, if you don't have Adobe Flash Pro or any other stuff like that that's used for animating, Windows Live Movie Maker and Paint is probably the first step for you if you want to know how to animate. Now, the first step you need to do is make sure that you have Windows Live Movie Maker on your desktop. Uh, you need to make sure that you have Windows Live Movie Maker on your desktop or PC. Uh, I don't know where my dad uh, downloaded it, but when my dad gave my laptop to me, Windows Live Movie Maker was already in it. See, I already made a small movie right here. Oh, I don't need to update. So, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are other videos out there that shows you how to download it. So, uh, for now, let's go and start this tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I already have a lot of files. Those are the current files I use for animating. Now, the first thing you need to do is open Paint. And, uh, let me just fix the size. When it comes to animating, I usually use the, uh, <clears throat> pencil tool instead of the brush tool so that it can properly so let's choose the thickest line which is four pixels now for me I usually sketch when I draw but for now I'm not going to sketch I usually use black so for example the first frame is going to be uh, a cat let's just draw a random cat let's rush this up <laughs> looks horrible okay, just it uh, that's good I guess Let's draw the eyes, doesn't have to be perfect. You can sketch yours, but I'm not gonna sketch mine. It's gonna take a little a lot more time. Okay, so the, that's the first frame. For example, uh, you once you've drawn the first frame, you save it. Uh, and uh, to make it easier for you to know which frame is first, next, and whatever, you can uh, name them as one, two, three, four, and continuously so that you know which one goes first, next, and whatever. Now the next thing you have to do is when you're drawing the second frame, use red as the color instead of black to indicate that it's the second frame. For example, the ear moves at the second frame. Draw it like that, that, whatever, draw it. The hair is moving also, try like that, and it, that's pretty much how it goes on until the rest of the drawing if a part moves. So, after you've done it, uh, hold up, I gotta finish this if I want to show you. Just gonna draw a random thing over here. Let's make the nose move and the mouth move oddly. Okay, let's just fill this up and not gonna, okay. Now, you can either use the fill bucket and quick black and go like, fill it and right click it and it'll be gone, or oh, it'll be gone, or use the eraser. Okay, there's a, here's a little trick I've learned, and all you have to do is enlarge the eraser. Okay, so for example, you need to fill the first slot with black and the next with white. And now all you have to do is right click it and voila, the black lines will be gone. And, uh, yeah, that's a little trick I've learned from Sugar Moon on YouTube. You should totally subscribe to her. She's a great person. And, uh, it also works for the red lines. All you have to do is change the first lot to red, and the next to black, and it works, too. See? Just like that. Simple. And nice. There we go. It's all black. Now, all you have to do, next thing you have to do is just pretty simple. Save as number two and whatever. It's done. And, uh, dang it, I'm not opening you. Okay, so next thing you have to do is open Movie Maker. Come on, open. I don't have all day. Come on. There we go. Hurry up. And then add the videos and photos you're gonna add. Okay, so, I saved it at Jam Kid Files. You can either choose the two photos by doing that or click them one by one. It's up to you, but I gotta do it like this. No, there, god fucking, jeez, yep, okay, 
broken it. Now, as you can see, you have to do. If you want it to go faster, you go to edit and click on the duration. Duration photo or background duration. Take the duration of selected photo background in seconds. Now, it says you did seven seconds long, which is pretty long. <coughs> So the thing you have to do is change the speed. Now for me, I usually do it at 0 0.10, 0 0.10, and it goes pretty fast, 0 0.10 on both. When you play, it's actually kind of fast like that. So this is rushed, but you can make smoother animations yourself. Yeah, so that's it. That's pretty much it. And if you want to save it, not as a project, but as a video, go to home and go to the very right, and there's a... Uh, icon there that says save movie to do is click it and choose uh, uh, settings there's a recommended settings and there's also recent settings common settings but for me I usually use recent settings which is for computer and it'll be saved you can name it whatever save it to your desktop uh, once you save it it'll start to convert into an mp take a look See, you can play your video file or open a folder that's in, and it's saved. And here it is. No. And here it is at your desktop or wherever you saved it. And come on, open. Come on. Don't go slow on me. <sighs> it takes too long to open. Why is it taking so long? Ah. <sighs> Come on, it's not the perfect time to go slow. But whatever, you get it. That's how it works. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more tutorials, just uh, leave it in the comments. Uh,